How's it going everyone? Mike here with Merch by Amazon, March 20th sales update. I'm going to jump right into the numbers, uh, go over this quickly and then I'll uh, spend maybe a minute talking about some of the comments I've received uh, recently. I've, uh, I've seen a lot more activity from you guys uh, in the comment section and then also uh, emails that I've been receiving, private messages. There's a bit of a difference between, for example, uh, the the number of uh, messages that I'm receiving from uh, people at lower tiers or newer people to this kind of a business. Uh, and and I'll talk about that in a bit, but let's jump into these numbers and, and talk about what's going on. So total number of sales, seven. Uh, this is uh, a bit of a drop. Uh, from uh, from my average but that's okay let's let's look at look at the actual numbers so as you can see here this is the US market uh, definitely the the average has been about 10 to 11 when you look at I'm recording this early in the morning on the 21st so so right now we're looking at uh, the average for the last seven days which today is included and uh, and as you can see that's the one right so the sales have just started coming in but but the average has been around 10 or 11. So for a day where I have five, that would be right now considered below average. Uh, last month or two months ago, uh, I would say five sales a day would be definitely my average and it wouldn't be you know considered a lower day. But as you can see here, the trend has been uh, you know, it's it's the sales have been increasing and five state uh, stands out as lower. But if we look at sales across all marketplaces, uh, it is seven. So that's kind of in between lower and average if average is 10. And uh, but it's still a OK day um, sales. Uh, total sales were over $100. If you if you add everything together and uh, profits about 20 bucks so royalties about 20 dollars so again not a bad day definitely not going to complain uh, the the last seven days as i mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago uh it's it's around 70 75 ish uh, right now like i said it's 66 just because it's early in the morning uh, but that's okay what i want to look at is this month so far so as you can see uh, we're talking about sales for the 20th March 20th and I've already beat uh, the previous month which again is uh, is definitely uh, where I want to be uh, hold on this is not what I wanted to click let's click on this chart just to see where we are on a monthly basis and as you can see here I mentioned a couple of uh, videos ago that it, it there is a big chance that in the US market at least and definitely uh, in total I'm, I'm gonna be uh, you know, 200 and this might be my best month. Again, I'm not going to go that far to say that it's going to beat November 2020. And when I say best month, I'm talking uh, since last October because uh, that's when, you know, there was a big change in my account and uh, and sales started increasing. So anyways, I'm kind of expecting, let's say, around 200 uh, sales, but, but that's being very, very modest. I think it's going to be uh, higher than that and possibly it's going to be you know over 250 but again I'm not going to make any predictions because you never know right there's going to there could be a, a day with you know maybe this is going to stay at one uh, for, for the day and that's how it's going to continue uh, let's look at I wanted to actually do total sales for this month to actually see where we are so let's let's look at this quickly 170 US market Total royalties of 590, which again, so far, I'm definitely not complaining about a single thing. And then um, total a number of sales across all marketplaces as of right now is 209, and this is including today. But if we look at custom, let's go till the 20th, which is yesterday, uh, still 204 sales. That means that today, I received five sales and uh, I'll, I'll quickly jump into that, but I don't want to talk about it because I'm going to talk about that in tomorrow's video. But as you can see right now, uh, 204 sales and it's the 20th. This is a, 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 from the 1st to the 20th, which again, 
uh, is incredible. It's, it's definitely, I think I'm pushing over uh, $700 in royalties as of this point. I haven't done the math. I, I think it might be uh, a little more than that, but, but we'll see what the final numbers are. And, uh, you know, things are going well. Again, I'll just repeat this quickly for anybody that's new to these videos. I've actually seen more newer people uh, watching these. I've started doing these daily updates since I was uh, tiered up to 20,000. So I skipped a tier. I went from 8,000 to 20,000. And uh, I, I've started receiving a lot of questions from people saying, you know, what's going on? Can you keep track of your sales? So that's why I'm doing these daily updates. And there's definitely been an increase in sales. And it's, you know, it, it definitely the, no, the number of live products that I have up. And then this number has been continuously increasing, which is amazing for me, which is the products with sales. Uh, you know, this goes up every single day. Once uh, exciting thing about today, uh, Japan's uh, alive again, as you can see, you know, nothing for a couple of days. And then today uh, we have uh, three so far. And what's interesting, it's it's actually different uh, niches than than previous week. This was one product where it just sold 15 uh, items. And but this is, as you can see, two different products and different categories. So that's that's good. I actually like to see that because there's a variety in sales. It's not just one thing uh, that's selling, but it, it just means that my uh, translations are going uh, well and and basically uh, the product categories and designs that I'm selecting are at least, you know, working to some extent. It's not a total bust because, uh, like I've said before, I feel like I'm, I might be a little more familiar with, you know, like the German marketplace or, or, or UK than Japan, just because I don't, I don't know much about the culture or anything like that. I don't know any trends. I don't know the language. So, so I feel like Japan's like just pure luck at this point. So there's nothing strategic about it. But uh, but I mean, it's uh, it's working a bit. Uh, I know it's been seven minutes. I wanted to make this a short video. The last thing I wanted to uh, talk about is uh, is the comments that I've been receiving. So here's what one thing that I've that I've noticed the people that are starting out uh, tier, you know, 10, 100, even 500. I don't even know what the tiers are anymore. 1000. It doesn't matter if you're not just talking about uh, merch by Amazon, if you're talking about Etsy sales, Redbubble, and if anybody tells you that there's a certain number that you have to keep in mind, like an expectation, if they say you're a tier 500, you should be doing this. Do not worry about it, right? Uh, th there is no expectation. Nobody knows uh, what's going on, unless you're somebody who's actually uh, an owner of a business and, and you have designs that, are, that have proven to sell and, and you've been, you know, uh, studying uh, advertising keywords, uh, you, you know how to search for keywords for trends and all that kind of stuff. You can't expect to have those kinds of uh, sales that somebody who, who is a pro who's in this business full time and has been for years. So don't if you see a video online where somebody says, hey, you're a tier 1000, you should be getting 50 sales a day. Do not let that discourage you, especially if you're in your, you know, uh, if you're 18, 19, if, you, if you're going to college or if you're, you know, in your 20s and you're just starting out, it doesn't even matter how old you are. Uh, if, if you're saying, I'm going to do this instead of having a, you know, part time job and I'm going to make a hundred bucks a month, that's good. Do not compare yourself to anyone. Uh, because there's so many people, for example, that would say, hey, buddy, you're a tier 20,000, your sales suck. You know, uh, honestly, to me, that doesn't matter. That's just somebody's opinion who has absolutely nothing to do with me and my life, right? Uh, I'm going to get probably a thousand bucks this month uh, by by selling shirts on, on a merch, right? Uh, you know, I have a full-time job. I have a house, I have a family, all this kind of stuff. So none of that really matters. You do it for for your own reasons, like th decide why you're doing this and never ever get discouraged by anybody. Because if if honestly, uh, when I was a, at a tier uh, 500 or 1000, even 4000, and if I was watching, you know, people on YouTube, which I am constantly, but if I really took it to heart and said, you know what, this guy's uh, doing 10 times more sales than I am, I better give up that would be a disaster. So basically, the, the message to anybody who's new or anybody who's been doing this for years, 
uh, is, is don't stop. Like, absolutely, do not get discouraged in any way uh, because that will just make it worse for you and, and hurt a lot more if you don't keep trying, right? So, so that's kind of the, the trend that I've been noticing where people and, and newer people are sending me uh, messages privately and saying, hey, what should I be? What kind of sales should I be doing? Should I really stop? Is it worth it? Absolutely. If, if you have time, if this is something that you want to do, do not compare yourself to anyone. Do not compare yourself to me. Do not compare yourself to somebody, you know, who does 15,000 sales a month because you might be doing much better than me. You might be doing much worse than me, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's what you want to do, right? So, so that's, the, that's the kind of disconnect that I've seen with comments is where some people are saying, oh, this is what needs to be done. And then other people reading those comments and saying, oh, I, I think I should give up. I don't think it's worth it. To, to be honest with you, I've, I've been po uh, listing products on Redbubble for a couple of years. I, I stopped for a while, but I'm honestly getting one or two or three uh, sales a month. Like there's a, there's a bit of a, an uptick, you know, during Q4, but that's not going to stop me. I don't care. Uh, it, it doesn't cost me money to list it, it. Yeah, it costs some time, but who cares? Like, you know, that's not going to discourage me just because someone else is making uh, 10,000 sales a month. Like it, it really like at least for me with my mentality, my personality, uh, it, it really has no impact on me. And, and the last thing I would want anyone who's just getting into this is to be discouraged by anyone else. I think anybody in this business should kind of uh, motivate each other and help each other. Uh, but, uh, but I know that's not always the case. Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, uh, I, I feel like today is going to be a, a much better than, day, day than yesterday. I already have uh, five sales and it's early in the morning and yesterday I had seven in total. Uh, so, you know, uh, one day is low, the other day is high. But again, uh, 204 sales uh, March, uh, March 1st to March 20th. So this was the sales update for March 20th, Merch by Amazon. This is the total number of sales. Uh, this month is going great, as you can see here. 170 US market and 204 uh, total number of sales. I know this was a longer video, but I felt like I, I needed to say that. Maybe I'm gonna go and do a video where I just do like a Q&A, answer some of your questions. Uh, but, uh, but for now, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts, any ideas. And, um, you know, well, let's keep working. Things are going great. Thanks.